Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my semi-furnished house tour. So I'm not all completely done of furnishing my house. I've been adding small little things here and there, but you guys really insisted that you guys wanted to see a house tour, like a complete furnished house tour. And I was like, you know what? I'll just show you guys what I have at the moment. But today I decided it will be a perfect day to take you guys with me to Ikea. So I'm currently working in my garden and in my patio decorating because I love to be outdoors and I feel like my backyard is not where I want it to be yet. So I was like, you know what? Today I'm gonna go to Ikea and pretty much buy everything that I need for my patio and I'm gonna take you guys along with me but I have a huge announcement in today's video I did partner up with a Poshmark and guys I am having a huge sale in my closet I am listing a lot of new products a lot of new makeup products clothing like Nike free people and it's all 50% off the original price so you guys have to take advantage of this sale that I'm listing in my closet because once it's gone it's gone guys I will leave my closet a link down below in my username so you guys can go check it out but enable to go check in my closet you do need to download Poshmark it's totally free I totally recommend it and Poshmark if you guys are not familiar with it it is an app where you can sell or buy fashion items like clothing shoes accessories it's a great way to make side money and it is completely free if you guys have a closet make sure to comment down below your name so we can go check out each other's closet and I will also be posting mystery boxes in my closet so stay tuned for that because guys in the mystery boxes are gonna be brand new items and it's gonna be such a good deal you guys don't want to miss out on it so make sure to go check out my closet I'll leave it a link down below and don't forget to download Poshmark it is totally free and now that I told you guys about the huge news let's head out to Ikea and let's do some shopping and then I'll show you guys my semi-furnished house tour I have made it to Ikea and now I'm looking at everything that's for like the outdoors which is like the patio and stuff we already have in mind what we're gonna get, but I'm still gonna look around for like inspiration. Okay, so I saw these guys and I just sat on them. They are so comfy, but can you guess how much it is? Like this one alone is almost 600, like the whole thing. That's not even including the yellow pillows just by itself. But I did like this table. Um, I really like it, so I think I'm gonna get it. What is it? Aisle 24, bin 9. I really like it. I think it's really cute. It's gonna go with the chairs that I looked at online. So I think I am going to take that one for sure. All right, so this is what I put together. So these are the chairs that I looked online. They might not be the prettiest, like nothing compared to this one. But they're so inexpensive, guys. And it's like so easy to maintain. I don't have to clean it and worry about the pillows and stuff. And then I put it with this beige table. And I would put something like that in the middle. And I felt like in the middle is great because we can put like our beverages whenever we're sitting down. And I really like it. I feel like it's gonna look really nice. All right, I'm gonna get a car. I am so excited to decorate my patio. You guys have no idea. So I was gonna buy that little plant to put in the middle of the table, but I know I can get a better deal and a prettier one at Ross. So I might go to Ross today or tomorrow. So I actually went to Lowe's and I bought some tiki's because there's a lot of mosquitoes and I've heard these are really good to prevent the mosquitoes from like getting around the area so I got four of them and I want to show you guys what my patio looks like so this is the before okay so these are bogambilias um, and I love these flowers like ever since I was little and I would go with my grandma to Mexico she would have so many of these and I was like the day that I have my house this is the very first plant that I'm gonna put so these are bogambilias it's such a beautiful fuchsia color and I actually have one and I have two so I have two of these and what I'm planning on doing in this they're actually going to wrap like this they're going to wrap around to close it and I feel like it's gonna look so gorgeous and then once I get all the chairs and the table situated I feel like it's gonna look super pretty so this right here is the before and I'll show you guys after when I'm done all right I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like now and I think it looks so cute let me show you Da -da, that's oh my god that looks so cute that looks really really cute so we decided to not use all three but just two i'm still gonna keep the third one and we're just gonna pull it out the garage in case we ever have uh, more people over we want to make like a bonfire but it is so adorable and i had this little plant inside the house i was like you know what i'm just gonna put this here just so it can look nice and pretty i don't know why the brightness is changing i think it's because of the contrast of the white chairs but the chairs look so beautiful in the green grass i feel like it just makes it like pop out and then there's my bogambilia i put four tikis one in each corner and this is what it looks like on the outside i think it's so cute all right so are you ready for the semi-furnished house tour because i know i am so let's get started so as you can see there is my door that is the main entryway the first thing 
that you see when you come into my house is this area. Now, let me tell you something. I know you guys are going to know where I got all of my items. Most of my items, I did buy them from Home Away. If they are not from Home Away, I would tell you where I got them, but I would say like 95% of my house is from Home Away. So the mirror, the vase, the candles, the basket, and the table, it's all from Home Away. And I got most of my inspiration from Pinterest. Like as soon as I knew we were gonna start playing for homes, I started looking at Pinterest and going crazy. And when I saw this in a picture, I was like, I want this. This was looks just looks so pretty. Um, so I have the mirror, I have the vase, the two candles in this basket. Anyone that comes in puts their keys here, and this table, I just fell in love with it. I liked that it wasn't like your typical solid. It had something very unique and different. So this is the very first thing you see when you come into my house. When you go this way, you will have the garage there. There's nothing interesting about the garage. And then there's this closet here, which I just have shoes and my cleaning supplies. It's pretty boring and there's nothing interesting. We're gonna turn around over here and we're going to go to Jason's office. Now, please don't ask me what Jason wants to do with his office because I have no idea what he wants to do, guys. He has a mess here. Look, Liam was here chilling with him while he was working. This is mostly his area, guys. I really don't tell him what to do with his office, so who knows when he's gonna completely furnish his office. So that's that. In this closet here, I just keep blankets and backup toilet paper. Again, there's nothing fun or interesting there. There's no decor there. It's just blankets whenever visitors come over. Here is my restroom. Ta-da! So I believe the last time you guys saw the restroom, nothing was put together. So there's my curtain, those little curtain hooks I am obsessed with. Again, everything from the restroom here is from Home Away. I fell in love with that frame when I saw it. I was like, I have to take that picture frame. It is embroidered, it is beautiful. And I wanted this restroom to be a little bit more on the neutral side, which is why I also picked up this rug. I just put some towels there. Here is my restroom. I put a candle a little orchid. I stick to fake plants because I just can't keep up with the real ones. It's too much work. So this candle actually smells amazing. I got this from Home Away. It's cinnamon chai and it smells so, so good. So this is my restroom. And this restroom, we mostly use it just us three because it's the one closest to the office. So this is the one that we use the most. Let me turn this off and let's move on to the next. This is my laundry room, in case you guys are interested. I was just doing some laundry. I was doing Liam's clothes, which is why I have it right there. But um, I have this frame here that says laundry. I thought it would be just a very cute accent to put here in the room. I got that one from Home Away too. I have my detergents. My detergents, well, they're from Walmart, H-E-B, any grocery store. <laughs> And then here is my washer and my dryer. I got these at Best Buy actually. And I mean, they're not bad to get the job done. They wash everything. So I have these and then I have my basket there of dirty clothes, but that's pretty much it. Let's move on. So here is the same where we started. So now we're gonna take a right and we're gonna go to the kitchen. So this is my kitchen. Here is the first thing that I have. I have these two jars here. I mostly just have these for decor. Um, and again, I got these at home away. I got these for decor. I don't really have anything in them. They were like on clearance for like three and four bucks and I was like, heck yes girl, let's do this. Um, and then I picked this up at HEB. I just like to toss here like change or things that don't really have nowhere to be I just toss it in here and then every week I come check and I put it back where it belongs but I just thought it was something pretty and different and that I matched like the theme that I'm going for the entire house and then here is my fridge we're gonna move on here is my pantry well I basically just have my food and everything I told you guys that I wanted to organize everything in like clear containers it hasn't happened yet bear with me whenever I do that I will make a video basically transforming this into like the aesthetically pleasing pantries that you see on Pinterest I'm still working on that, but if I end up doing it, I will for sure make a video. Here, I just have my paper towels. I have these flowers. I literally, I never keep anything here, but I just thought this was a very nice touch to the kitchen. And I love these flowers because they don't really die on you. They're basically already kind of dry. I don't know what these flowers are called. Let me know in the comments down below, but I love them. They look so pretty. Here, I keep all of my spoons. I decided to go with all wooden spoons. I keep all of my spoons. They are all from Home Away. And this set back here is from Marshalls. This is from Home Away. 
so is all this stuff. So here, I had a little bit of salt, but I already used it all up. And then I have here my salt and pepper shaker. And I have this here, which I keep my olive oil. And I don't know what else to put here, so I always just kind of hide it and leave it like that. I have my spoon rester. And then I have this set of knives that I actually picked up at Tuesday morning. So I got these on Tuesday morning and you can actually flip this over and you can put like your book here, like your recipe book to be, you know, looking at your recipe while you're cooking or you can put your tablet or your phone so you can look at it while you're cooking, which I do that almost every single time I'm cooking. I turn it around and place my phone there and watch movies. But then I also have my Alexa. Alexa is awesome. She's already listening at us, but she's awesome. I like to play music, watch movies, Hulu, all that stuff. And then here I have this set of little mugs with plates and a molcajete and everything. So two of my pita chips send this out to me so i know you guys know who you are thank you so much you guys are the sweetest and i told them when i first get my house you better believe i don't i don't care if it doesn't match with my decoration i'm gonna put it in my house decor somewhere and look I have it right there and it looks so pretty. All right, we're gonna move on this side. Here is our dining table. I got this at, what is it called? Living Spaces, Living Spaces. I always remember the jingle, that's why I know where it's from. I have some hydrangeas. The vase is from Marshalls. I got it on clearance for I think three or four bucks, which was super inexpensive and it looks so good with the table. Then I have that palm tree right there. I got that one at Home Away as well. We don't really eat in the table just because it has these white cushions and you already know with a three-year-old even me sometimes I spill something and I'm a grown-ass woman you can only imagine a three-year-old accidents happen so we really don't eat here we just use it whenever visitors come and guests come and all that stuff we mostly eat here in the island so here in the island I just have this vase that I got at home away with the same flowers I have back there this is my sink um, I have this candle well I have this candle from home away that I, I want to go next week hopefully I can find it this is a sweet crisp apple Oh my God, everyone gave me compliments about this candle. My mother-in-law hates candles and she said, oh my God, what is that smell? It smells so good, but it's not too overpowering. So I need to go back and restock at least like six of these because they smell so delicious. So I just put this one in the center because I like the container, the little jar, it looks so pretty. I have this little plant. I have my Mayer's hand soap. If you guys have never tried Mayer's hand soap or just Miss, Mrs. Mayer's in general, you have to test it out because they have some of the best cleaning supplies. So that is that. And then I have three of my Barstools. There's my hoodie that I was wearing, but it got a little too hot, so I took it off. But we also got these at Home Away as well. So this is my entire kitchen area. Now we're going to move to the living room. So this basket, and so is the throw blanket and the little pillow. I got it at Home Away. Now I didn't really get like the typical small little basket because a lot of the times I have a lot of people over, so I was like, you know what, it's a bigger basket, it's better, so I can always just fit like two pillows or two throw blankets. So I just thought it looked really pretty. A lot of you guys have been asking me where I got the rug. Guess what? I got it at home away as well. My couch is from Living Spaces and the two pillows, well actually the four pillows, are from home away. So is this lamp right here is so beautiful i thought it was something totally different this is also from home away and then i have my table here again you know what at this point i'm not going to tell you where it's from if you don't hear me say anything that means from home away this is the table i really liked it i like that it had the wood but it had the black accent and it just made it look so elegant and so pretty i have this for the centerpiece on this side, I have these two. Now, whenever I post this in my story, I get a ridiculously amount of DMs asking me where I bought this. And this actually, my sister-in-law, Lily, came up with the idea because we just couldn't find, guys, nothing that was long enough for us because we didn't want it to be too small or too big. We wanted it to be perfect. And so she actually came up with the idea. She's like, why don't you guys just put both of these together and make it a whole piece. And we were like, wow, that's genius. So that's what we did. And these are also from Home Away. 
So are these three bases. I just thought it was a nice little touch. We have our plaques. This is my plaque. This is Jason's plaque from the vlogging channel. And then here I have this little lamp with this plant and my remote control. And here is my TV right here. And that's me recording for you guys. But yeah, I just wanted to mention that because like, I said I get like a crazy amount of DMs like oh my god Peter where did you get this or where did you buy it I've been looking for one like that so just to know guys that it's two of them but we combine them together all right now we're gonna move into my room guys please do not expect a lot out of my room I am nowhere near done I have a lot of things that are shipping to the house very soon it's already in its way but I just didn't want to wait you know to record the video I was like you know what I'm just gonna show them how it is so this is my bedroom as of now it's just my bed and my floor and this is real this is how I sleep girl so you know um, I ordered everything already I ordered the bed frame I ordered a couch I actually ordered a TV I ordered a lot of stuff for the room but when it comes to my room I want to take it very slow guys because I want to make it perfect because this is the place that I want to come in and be like <sighs> This is where I can just come, relax, be in peace, you know? I wanna make it super, you know, cozy, but also very minimalistic. So that's why it's taking me a long time, but I'm surely, but slowly going to get there. And then I have this mirror that I had at the house, you guys remember, hey, that's the mirror. We're gonna move on to my restroom. Here is my restroom. My restroom is very, very simple, guys. I just have a candle there, and then I have my orchid, our toothbrushes, I have my skincare. You already know which one's the, which side of the sink is mine. This one. Um, and then I have my Alexa. And then here in this, I have all of my towels, all of my personal items, just everything that I keep here. Here is my shower, nothing too crazy. I have a couple of plants up there, super pretty. Um, and then I have those towels. I preferably wanted one that said L and J, Lupita and Jason, but they didn't, so I have one for mommy, daddy, so Liam can know which one is our towels, and he has his own towel. And then here is my other restroom. Again, nothing too crazy. It's just this um, frame that I got at home away with a small little plant, and that's basically it. Super simple, nothing interesting. Here is my closet. All right, we're gonna move on to the rest of the house, which is the upstairs. And if you guys have any ideas for my room or any part of the house, please let me know in the comments down below, guys. I always look at the comment section and I always read your comments, and I always take everything into consideration. This is my stairs. So now we're gonna go up the stairs. Here is the second living room. This is the loft. Oh goodness gracious. I don't even like to think of what I'm gonna do with this area because I'm clueless, guys. I am literally, like, when I look at this, I'm like, my head goes blank. I have no idea what to do with this big space. I've looked at Pinterest, like, loft ideas, and nothing really comes up, so if you have an idea for this, for a loft or anything in general, Please let me know. I would truly, truly appreciate it because, like I said, when it comes to this area, I feel like I'm blank. My head, my head goes blank. I don't know what to do. So I would totally appreciate it if you guys will let me any recommendations in the comments down below of what I should do with this room right here. All right, next we're gonna go to my beauty room. The last time you guys saw my beauty room, it was nothing like this. I already fixed it all completely. So, ta-da, this is my beauty room. Now, I know you guys are gonna ask me where this whole setup is from. So, Jason ordered me all that setup from Amazon. Um, Jason is very, like, he's very techy and very geeky when it comes to all this stuff. I am clueless about this. So, I will try my best to leave this items linked down below in case you guys are interested. The point is, he is just amazing because now I don't have to go through the hassle of like taking a paper out, putting it back on again. I just have to now pull the ropes and whatever color I want comes down. So that's awesome. I have all of my stuff that I need to work. I have my soft lights, I have my ring light, my microphone, my camera. This is my setup, this is where I film. I have a backup ring light. In case you guys always wanted to know like how do I make my background super bright, I put an extra ring light so it can reflect more light there. And then here is my station where I get ready. I get ready here every single day when I have to do my makeup, when I have to film, when I go live. This is where I set up and this is where I set my phone. So this is where I film every single day. 
Now, if you watch my videos, I'm pretty sure you already know about my makeup organization. So I have this, and this is where I keep all of my makeup stored here. And on this side, I added this sofa. Do you guys remember? I had this one from a long time ago. Here in my closet, guys, I just have everything when it comes to work. So I have ring lights, backdrops, I have everything here more backdrops there and my arts and crafts i have basically everything here so this is my closet all right we're gonna move on to the next restroom i'm so happy that i have three full restrooms in this house it just makes everything so much easier so this is the guest bathroom whenever i have people over like my mom my brothers anyone this is the restroom that they use it's again very simple guys when it comes to the restrooms i really didn't do much i just put this flower all right and then here is the restroom so this is the decor that i have for this restroom i really didn't know what to do with these dividers here so i just decided to decorate it like that something very simple again all this is from home away guys if at this point i'm not telling you where it's from just know that it's from home away i have the uh, tissue on top of the toilet i have my towels my curtain my rug i decided to keep this um restroom like pretty much like all white just with like a little touch of accent of color we're gonna move on to the guest room so i am nowhere near done with this room the only thing is guys this mattress and liam's mattress is currently on its way i did so much online shopping that i'm just waiting for everything to arrive at this point this is why i have like a love-hate relationship with online shopping because i order it but i want it right away but it takes time to get here so i actually have two of those night sun tables i have that one and i have that one on that side i got those at ross um the headboard is also from ross um this right here is from ikea it comes with four drawers as you can see two on each side this is an inflatable mattress that i got at walmart i just got it in the meanwhile when my mom comes to stay over or my little brother but once the mattress comes in in a couple of days it's going to look so pretty because i already know how i'm going to decorate this guest room whenever my guests come in here i want them to feel so welcome and i want it to feel very cozy and like home so i already know how i'm going to decorate this room i just need the mattress to get here and then i need to head out to ross marshall's tj maxx so i can buy the bed sheets all the decor and everything you guys already know i'm gonna make this room look so cute in a budget you already know me that's the closet but it's completely empty all right we're gonna move on to liam's room which is the last room of the house and this is his room all right so i'm pretty sure you guys expected his room to be super cute and like all decorated do the same but i am so stuck i need your help i really do need your help so when i first moved into the house i was like oh my god i'm gonna make it so cute with like a lot of toys and table and like you know i already had everything in mind i even had like screenshot a couple pictures on pinterest and everything but i'm stuck i feel like he's three years old but i feel like he's way older than that like i feel like he just acts older than a three-year-old so i'm like oh my god do i decorate for a three-year-old or do i decorate for a six and eight-year-old <laughs> So I don't know what decorations to do for his room. I don't know if that makes any sense. Like I don't want to decorate it for like a three-year-old and then a couple of years pass by and then he's going to be like, oh, I'm too big for this. You know what I mean? So I don't know how to decorate it. I'm currently stuck. I don't know what to do. So if you have any recommendations, guys, again, let me know in the comments down below. But this is basically Liam's room, all the toys, everything that you see here is either from Marshalls and TJ Maxx. That's where I buy all his toys. Um, the kitchen, the Peppa Pig kitchen is from Ross. It was $50 or $60, I believe. It's super inexpensive. That's his bed. His bed, we got it from... Oh my God, where do we get his bed from, guys? I don't remember. Give me a minute. Oh, we got it at Ikea. Yes, we got it at Ikea. That's his bed. It's already way too small for him. He has, I think I ordered a twin or a queen. Girl, I don't remember, but his mattress is already on its way. And so we have to go to Ikea to buy him a new bed because the mattress is not going to fit there. So this is his room as of now. And then that's his closet where he has all his clothes and everything. But all right, this is the last room of the house, guys. And I think that's all for my semi-furnished house tour. Oh my God, I almost forgot to show you guys my big planter that I have here in the corner. I got this one at home away as well. I was coming down the stairs and I was like, wait, did I not show them that? I know why, because I went like this and I gave my back towards the plant that 
that's why I forgot it was there. Oh, and then I also forgot to mention to you guys, I know you guys are gonna ask me where I got my mirror. And my mirror is from Home Goods. I got it for, was it either like $99 or $110? I don't quite remember, but it was super, super inexpensive compared to original price. But just wanted you guys to know, I was like, wait, I can't forget the mirror or the big plant on the corner. All right, guys, and that concludes my semi-furnished house tour. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you can be part of the Pita Chip family. And don't don't forget to turn your post notifications so I can notify you the next time I upload a new video. Don't forget to download Poshmark so you guys can go check out those great deals that I will be listing in my closet. So make sure to go check it out. Other than that, guys, I will see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.